Hi, I'm Gavin, I work for Universal Skills and today we're going to look at steel wired armoured, referred to as SWA. So, first things first, got a short length of SWA here, that stands for steel wired armoured. And you can see inside there, that's the steel, that's the armouring. If I look at this end, we, you can see it a little bit better, it's got a coating around the outside. So, if you ever drill through this or you ever put anything through this you're always going to hit that outside layer and that outside layer we're going to earth it so it means you're always going to hit the earth first before you hit any other conductor we use this wa for mechanical protection okay so it stop it from getting impacted either by somebody's hand or an implement you know so when we look at ev um, electrical vehicles and we install it electrical vehicle charging points, it makes sense to use SWA for mechanical protection, okay, for impact. So when you do your EV course, you will be expected to make a short length of this off into a gland, into a charge point just like this. So this is the charge point we've got here. This is one for our assessment center. So if I just take the lid off here, and we've modified this just so it's easier for you to make the terminations off and we don't keep damaging the screws every time we take it off. So we've got the line here and the neutral here and then the earths are here. Okay. So when you do your assessment for the electrical vehicle, of course, you will need to make off an armoured into the bottom gland here and leave your cables long enough to get to these Wagos we've put in for you, okay? Good, so let's start off with the armoured itself. So as I said, we need to leave enough to, to get into there. So we'll have a look at that in a minute. First things first, to deal with the gland. There's different types of glands, ones for indoors and ones for outdoors. So as we can see, this one has a rubber seal, so it's for outside. We call these ones CWs, okay? And as you do, do it up, that gland will tighten around the armoured and then cause a waterproof seal. First thing to do, take our locking nut off that end and we can put it in here and we can do the first bit of the gland up. Just the locking nut into there. Okay, so there we are. Then we get a pair of grips on that and we do it up nice and tight. Okay, so get a pair of grips in there. Okay, and do that nut up nice and tight. That's it, nice and tight. Okay, there we are. So that is in there. So we are now left with the rest of the SWA gland and we need to make it off into this unit. So I find it easiest to mark my armoured out with a bit of tape, just so I know where to strip it. So first of all, let's work out how much we need in there. We can say we need about that much, you know, just to be safe. So let's put a bit of tape round here. Now that gives me two lines. This first one here, is where I'm going to strip the outside off, the armour in. And then this second one is where I'm going to strip the rubber off just to expose the conductors and leave the armour in to actually go around the outside of the shroud and make a good solid connection. Okay, so first of all I'm going to put it in here just because we're in a training centre. Let's be nice and safe. If you have your own spinner rather than a hacksaw you can use a hacksaw, uh, sorry, use your spinner, should I say, opposed to a hacksaw. So, just to through, back and forth, I don't want to go all the way through, just spin it as I go. So you're literally just scoring the arm rim. About four or five strokes, and then spin it. Just to score it just to score it and then keep going around all the way around so as I say you're 
you're allowed to use a spinner for your exam and that's just a tool to go around rather than use the hacksaw but um, I prefer a hacksaw myself it probably doesn't look like it from the video but I do like the old school way of things okay and now all I need to do is take away the outside sheath so away from my body use the knife away from my body and take away the sheath just like that okay away from my body and let's put that knife away before we forget good done now with these don't take them all off in one go do them slowly and do them with the ones next to me that makes sense so look i've got three together here and when we get down to there just a little twist and if we've done it properly they should come off just like that good now keep them nice and clean let's not make a mess let's do them under there we go there we go good so this is coming away we are taking the armoring away and it's only a four mil so there shouldn't be too much trouble there we go good so now we strip the armoring away and you can see there's no more armoring on that bit of cable all the armoring's gone and I've still got my tape there now why I've put that tape there is I'm going to get my electrician's knife I'm going to go around here with the knife and just score off the outside black sheath and that will leave the armoring of what is that bit of tape nearly an inch almost so we strip that and we can see there now we have the outside sheath we have the steel wire armor there and then we have the cores of the cable covered by another inner lining of insulation there okay so remember earlier we put our nut into there that's in the bottom there now i've got a gland that doesn't require a banjo it's just simply a nut like this and the bottom of the the nut that's in here has a abrasive outside to stop you pulling the armoured off i mean I, I remember when he's always come with a banjo okay but either way we need to remember to put this on the cable now and before we put this on because it's outside we need the shroud which i've got just here so we have the shroud of cable remember to cut that the right size of the cable not too big so it falls down okay and not too small so it won't go on the cable so first things first we put our shroud on okay now before you put the nut on it may be a good idea just to put a bit of tape around that especially if you're doing the big gland so when you put this nut on you don't open these coils up but because there's only a small bit of cable you can see I can quite easy get that over there without uh, disturbing these. So there we are, we've got our nut and we've got our gland on the SWA. Now what you do, just to open these up a little bit, because you want them a little bit splayed, you want them a little bit open. So you just get this in the cable and you just twist it round like that. Nice and slowly. And can you see it's done like a nice opened itself up a little bit so then what we do is we put that into there and that arm rim will now sit on the outside of that nut you see nice round there you can see it sitting on the side there and then we can bring our nut up here push that in as we do it up so keep the pressure on it to make sure the SWA stays around the gland okay and then finish tightening it up with a pair of grips nice and tight nice and tight on there and then do this outside nut up there 
And then again, get your grips on that and tighten that up. So that tightens the seal around this cable here. Okay, nice and tight in there. Do that up, good. And then we can put our shroud on here. Okay, so the main thing we're looking for when you've done your armoured, which you have to do in your EV assessment, is that we've got a good, nice, tight connection here. So if I pull this, look, it's not going anywhere. That's nice and tight in there. It's nice and tight in there. It isn't going anywhere, okay? That's exactly what we want. We put the sheaf up, and then we can continue making that off as we go. But for your assessment, we need to see this SWA made off. We need a decent connection on there, a mechanical connection on there, okay? So the purpose of this video was just making off the armoured gland itself. I haven't terminated the cables. That will be for another video we're making. Obviously in here we have three cores of cable. We have a brown, we have a black and we have a grey. Just want to mention on that, please remember the black has been denutralised. We never use the black as neutral no more, ever, ever. So the grey will be your neutral, the black will be your earth, okay? If you like the video, please subscribe, hit the notification bell.